let's give this shot some crazy sunset tones using a hidden Lightroom color grading tool. As always, feel free to follow along this tutorial by downloading the RAW file from the link in the description of the video. And now let's begin. As always, I will be going through the whole editing process. So if you're just here for the tutorial part, make sure to check the chapters of the video. But first, we're going to do the basic adjustments. So let's expand the basic panel right away. I want to change the profile to Adobe Landscape because I want this image to be very well saturated. And this profile is perfect for that purpose. Now, I want to tone down the highlights a little bit just to reveal more details in the sky because these long exposure clouds do look quite nice and I want them to be nicely visible. Then let me pull up the shadows because we do have a little bit of clipping in the darkest areas of this image. I don't necessarily want that. So I'm going to try to fix that, pulling up the shadows and I'm also going to raise the blacks. Of course, due to these adjustments, we are going to lose a little bit of contrast, but don't worry. We are just doing the basic adjustments for now. So we don't have to worry about contrast. What we can do, however, to bring back a bit of contrast is to pull up the whites. Very careful here. I also don't want to introduce any clipping in the highlights. Just around here looks pretty good. All right, I think I'm quite happy with the exposure. Now I'm going to also work on the white balance and this whole shot looks a little bit too cold for my taste. I want to have some more intense sunset colors. So what I'm going to do is to bring up the temperature a lot and you can see this will introduce this really good looking golden light effect, which I think works perfectly for this scene. I also want this shot to look sharp and clear. So I'm going to bring up the texture, which will just make the details sharper. I'm also going to bring up the clarity, which will boost the mid tones contrast of this image. And I'm also going to pull up the dehes just a little bit for a bit more contrast. Perfect. I'm also going to pull down the vibrance, making this whole scene a little less saturated. I'm doing this because I'm going to target specific areas of the image later on and give them a stronger color boost. So that's the reason for me to bring down the vibrance at this point. And that's the image after the basic adjustments. We can compare to before real quick. The biggest difference you can see is probably the golden light effect due to the changed white balance, which looks much, much better. Other than that, this image is not that much different from the raw file. But now let's continue with a little bit of masking. And here is where we can really change things. And here there's also the hidden color grading tool I was talking about in the intro. I would say let's start with the sky. I'm going to choose a color range mask and I'm going to click right here, somewhere in the blue part of the sky. Because I want to make the blue part specifically darker, creating more contrast between the blues of the sky and the clouds. Obviously, I only want to affect the sky. So I'm going to click on those three dots, choose intersect mask with, and I'm choosing select sky. So the landscape in the foreground won't be affected by this mask. Plus, I also only want to affect the top left corner. So I'm going to subtract a linear gradient and I'm taking out everything on the right side like this. That's looking like a proper selection for our purpose. Now what I'm going to do is to pull down on the exposure very gently, creating more contrast in the sky this way. At this point, I'm not happy with the colors. So we do have a few options fine tuning the colors in this mask. We do have the white balance settings. We can play around with the hue and saturation. We can also use the point color or curve tool. In this case, I want the blues to be a little more intense. I'm going to start this by pulling down the temperature, making the blues of the sky even bluer this way. To make them more intense, we can bring up the saturation. So far, not that much has changed. But now let me show you the hidden color grading tool, which sits right beneath the saturation slider. It's this tiny box right here. No slider, no curve. What you want to do is to click on it and this color panel will pop up. Now what we can do in here is to select a specific color tone, which will get added on top of our mask. Since I want to make the blue tones of the sky more intense, I'm going to add another blue tone on top of it. So I'm going with the eyedropper tool, I'm just going to click right in here, somewhere in the blue color range. And on the horizontal axis, I can choose the color, while the vertical axis is there for the saturation. So if I go higher, the color will get more and more saturated. So for the purpose of this mask, I'm going with a subtle blue tone, 
Let's bring down the hue, giving it more of a Zion color tone. And I am going to slightly bring down the saturation. Let me deactivate the mask so we can see the difference from before to after. Not only have we added more contrast, but the colors do look way better this way. Of course, you might not be able to see it much in that area of the sky. So let me give you another example. I'm going to use another color range mask with which I want to target the warmer clouds in the sky. So let me click right in here. Again, I only want to affect the sky. So I'm going to click on those three dots again, choose intersect mask with and choose select sky to get rid of the foreground. That's looking pretty good. We could bring up the color range a bit. So we are making sure more of these clouds are selected. All right, I want to make these clouds look more orange-ish. And again, let's click on that kind of hidden color grading tool right here. Just click on the box. Then we are going to set up the color tone first. I want to go with something really, really warm somewhere in the orange color range right around here. And now let me pull down the saturation all the way. This is what the clouds look before. And now if I pull up the saturation, look what happens. We can give these clouds a super intense orange tone just through that little hidden box in the masking panel and stylize our images in a very unique way, as you can see. Of course, this is way, way, way too much. So let me tone down the saturation a bit. I do want to have a very visible orange tone. So I'm probably going with something around 50% of saturation, somewhere around here. All right. Of course, we can not only use that color box to make these clouds look more intense. I'm also going to bring up the temperature because those two tools work great together. Now let me deactivate the cloud mask. That was our image before. And these are the clouds with the color grading through the masking applied on top. That's a huge difference. I can show you another use for this color grading tool. Let me create another color range mask. And at the moment, you can see looking at the snow right here in the distance, the snow is looking a little bit too yellow. So let's change that. I'm going to click right in here. Of course, at the moment, the color range tool is selecting way more than needed. So we make use of the refine slider. Let's bring it down until we only have the snow selected like this. Still a bit too much. So again, we make use of the intersect tool, click on those three dots, choose intersect mask with and choose brush. And with the brush, I'm just going to brush over all those snow patches, which I want to change the color of. So just like that, then let me click on that color box. And again, we don't want the snow to look warm. So we need to apply a cold color tone to fix that. Let me go with something like this. And let me pull up the saturation a little more trying to turn the snow white this way. Of course, we could also use the white balance settings or the tone curve. I'm just showing you a different option to do things like this. So don't solely rely on this tool. Now let me deactivate this mask to see the difference from before with the yellow snow to after with a much more natural looking snow. Wonderful. So you see this hidden color grading tool deserves way more attention. You should definitely give this a try yourself on your images. Now let's continue finishing this edit. What I want to do next is to create a new mask and I'm choosing the select landscape option. Within these options, I'm going with the mountain selection. Let's click create mask. And I just want to give these mountains a little more punch. So what I'm going to do is to bring up the contrast. I'm also going to bring up the whites, giving the landscape in the foreground just some more brightness. And at the same time, let me pull down the blacks for more contrast. Just very, very careful here to not overdo it. And I want to pull down the temperature, giving the whole landscape in the foreground a colder look this way. And I do want to make it sharper. So I'm going to bring up the texture and the clarity a little. Wonderful. I also want to introduce some glow in the sky. So I'm going to use a radial gradient for that. I'm going to place it right over this bright spot in the sky. And I'm making sure it's overlapping the mountain on the left. So the glow effect becomes a little more visible. To add the glow effect, all I need to do is to bring up the blacks. And I'm also going to drop the dehaze. Let's drop it quite a bit. I want to have a heavy glow effect applied here. I think that's looking pretty good, but we can again use that color grading tool. Let me click on that box right here. I want to make this glow effect look a bit warmer. So let me set up the hue. I'm going with an orange color tone and let's bring up the saturation to right around 50 again. 
All right, that's looking perfect. Let me add one more glow mask. I'm going to use another radial gradient, which I'm going to place right between these mountains right here. And let me add another radial gradient right away to this mask. Again, I'm placing it close to the mountain. So the glow effect just becomes more visible this way. And again, I'm going to bring down the dehaze. All right, that's looking good. Let me also bring up the blacks again. Nice, and that's the image after the masking adjustments. So let me turn off all the masks so we can see the difference from before to after. Much, much better. Now let's focus a little more on the color grading. And for that, I am going to head into the color grading panel for a bit of split toning. Here I want to work on the highlights and the midtones and give the image some more color contrast this way. So I'm going to use the highlights, give it a warm color tone. So let's bring up the hue. Again, I'm aiming for an orange color tone and I'm going to bring up the saturation, making the highlights more intense this way. Something like that looks good to me. I'm going for a quite vibrant, heavy effect on this image. Of course, you can always tone it down if you want. Now for the color contrast, I'm using the midtones and I'm going to use a cold color tone for them. So let's go with a cold blue tone like this and I'm going to very carefully bump up the saturation. Not to overdo it, but that's looking pretty good. All right, finally, let's go down into the calibration tab and I'm going to bring down the blue primary hue because I like what this does to the colors of the image. And I'm going to bring up the saturation like that. I think we can bring down the blue primary hue even more, which will give us these really, really intense red, orange ish color tones in the sky. All right, now let's sharpen the image in the details panel. As always, I'm going to bring down the radius all the way down. I'm going to increase the details all the way up. Then we are going to apply some masking while holding down the R key. You can see we can nicely target the landscape and the mountains in the center. And then let's bring up the amount of sharpening. And we are done editing this image. So let me know what you think about this little hidden color grading tool inside of Lightroom's masks. I hope this will be helpful for your images. If you want to support my work, please feel free to subscribe, like the video and maybe leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you all next time.